Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be about data visualization and we are going to look at chord diagrams and how we can create them using R. A chord diagram is a graphical method of displaying the interrelationships between data in a matrix. The data are arranged radially around a circle with the interrelationships between the data points typically drawn as arcs connecting the data. So the diagram we have here on the right hand side, that's how a chord diagram looks like. All our data points are arranged on the circumference of the circle and the relationships between these data points are shown with the help of arcs which are connecting these data points. Now the important point to remember here is that the data used for creating this kind of a visual has to be in the form of a matrix. Now if you don't know what is a matrix, please go ahead and look it up. And the other point that is important is that the colors that you use, uh, the lengths of the arcs or, in the, in the, or the order in which the data points are arranged, they should all mean something. They should not be there just for decoration. And this goes for any other kind of visual that you make that every element used on the graph should have some meaning attached to it. So I wanted to show you guys a real life example of how chord diagrams are used. This is a very famous example which shows the switching behavior between phone brands. So we have a chord diagram here where the different phone brands are distributed across the uh, circumference. Uh, we have Samsung here, we have Apple here, we have Nokia here. So all the different brands are represented using different colors. And then the switching behavior, that is how have customer moved from one brand to another brand that is shown, that interrelationship is shown using the arcs. And here the thickness of the arcs, if you see, they are different because they represent something. They represent how many customers, uh, net customers have moved from one brand to another brand. Uh, sometimes interpreting chord diagrams can be hard because there are so many arcs here that it can become very confusing. Uh, they're not as simple as bar graphs. So it's... Um, important that we understand how can we interpret. So let's look at uh, this one. Um, so if I just uh, focus on what's going on with the Samsung brand here. So what I see is that a lot of Nokia customers have actually moved to Samsung, but very few Samsung customers have actually moved into Nokia and the net gain is on the Samsung side, that's why the color of that particular arc is the color of Samsung, right? And uh, on the other hand, if we look at Apple, so from all the other brands, actually Samsung is gaining something, but it's only the case of Apple and HTC, where it has, uh, it has not really gained a uh, net customers right there are there is movement happening but more people have moved from samsung to apple than they have moved from apple to samsung right and the same is the case in case of htc uh, and if we just look at uh, how movement has happened from apple uh, to other brands we see that all the arcs are the color of apple that means that Apple uh, has actually gained customers more than it has lost. And uh, most of its customers are actually very loyal uh, to this brand. Now you can go ahead and check out this link and play around with it uh, and see how uh, the switching behavior is going on between uh, different uh, brands. And this is uh, obviously based on some sample data uh, and depending on your sample data or when you uh, do it there may be a little bit of change uh, but uh, this is how you can interpret a chord diagram.
okay so here we are on art studio and i'm going to show you some very simple code using which you can create code diagrams so the first step is to install the package circlice and the next step is to attach it to your script using the library function and then i have just created some sample data which is in the form of a matrix so let's see how our sample data uh, looks like uh, so we have three cities here Phoenix Tucson and Sedona and some brands of cars and the numbers uh, represent how many cars of that particular brand was sold in that particular city so that's our sample data and if I want to represent this data in a chord plot it is so easy uh, all we have to do is use the chord diagram function give our matrix as input and if you want to uh, use your own color palette you can do that i have created my own color palette here giving a color to each of my data point and then um, i will just go ahead and run this so here is how the output looks like it's very simple to interpret it is not a complicated chord plot like the one we saw before so we can uh, very easily see here that uh, Nissan um, has uh, a kind of less sales in Phoenix um, than it has in Tucson and uh, in Sedona and we can see that BMW has a lot of sales in Tucson but comparatively less in Sedona and uh, Phoenix and Toyota has kind of the same amount of sales in all three cities. So these are very simple to interpret uh, chord diagram, uh, but it shows the interrelationships between the cities and the brand of cars in a very intuitive manner. So this is how you can write some very simple code to create chord diagrams, but as usual, it has a lot of options to customize and you can uh, play around with it and uh, create diagrams based on what exactly you want to uh, represent okay friends that was today's video on chord diagram thank you so much for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us also on facebook Every Sunday, I bring live sessions or premiere sessions uh, where we talk about uh, different data science subjects in much longer uh, videos. So if you want to watch them, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, keep following us. Uh, we will be bringing you a lot of content on data science. Thank you so much and hope you have a great weekend ahead.